بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين مالك يوم الدين اللهم صل وسلم على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم إنك حميدا مجيد In the name of Allah the most gracious and the most merciful I ask Allah the most gracious to send peace and blessings upon Prophet Muhammad and whoever follow Prophet Muhammad in good deeds until the day of resurrection. Now let's continue from our last sitting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Now in this sitting, we're going to continue to elaborate upon patience in Islam. And we're going to take points from the life of Prophet Muhammad Now let's look at Prophet Muhammad trip to Ta'if. Ta'if was a small village away from Mecca after receiving the call for prophethood by the angel Jibreel السلام, he went to Ta'if for the preaching of Islam when he went to Ta'if, he was, he was, you know, he saw many people there in Ta'if. And he started to preach the words of Islam, which was to worship Allah in oneness and in truth. The people of Ta'if laughed at him and hurled stones at him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Prophet ﷺ was badly injured after this event. What did the Prophet ﷺ did? He bore patience in this period. Because why? He knew he was calling to the truth, which is to worship Allah in oneness and in truth. After this event, he returned to Mecca in a bad state. He had blood on his body and in his shoes. During this extreme condition, he didn't turn back and abuse the people who nearly took his life. He in fact remained patient and asked Allah the most gracious for their forgiveness and to guide them to the right path. Now in this situation, what would you have done? In a situation similar to this, would you have implemented the patience that the Prophet ﷺ had implemented? Are you being patient enough in your daily lifestyle? Are you being patient enough with what Allah, the Most Gracious, has decreed for you? If not, you need to take account of your actions now. And take a look into what you have done in the past and try to make your future better by the will of Allah, the Most Gracious. The Boycott and Abu Sufyan When Prophet Muhammad started preaching Islam in Mecca, the Quraysh boycotted him and his followers socially. So they started to abuse him. Prophet Muhammad and his companions were, went through hardship within these occasion, within these timings of the first stages of Islam, the preachers of Islam. They lived in a valley which had very narrow passage and they had a shortage of food in addition to the income. The believers had no way of income and they were leading a very tough life for a period of three years. Now look at that. Three years they bore patience for the sake of Allah. They moved from Mecca to a smaller village because of the abuses they were receiving. Now, are we being patient in this, our simple situation on a daily basis? Or we are being quick 
to react to something that's simple. For example, if a brother or sister doesn't give you salam, are you able to be patient and find an excuse for him? Or you're quick to say, that brother or sister has mis mis mistreated me and he has done a great ill matter upon me. We need to be patient in every situation that we have in our lives for the sake of Allah Azzawajal. During his situation, Prophet Muhammad remained calm and patient and never thought about taking any sort of revenge or even after he had conquered Bekka. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, also taught his followers to remain patient and ask Allah for strength, patience, and his help. Another example of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, patient was the situation with Abu Sufyan. Abu Sufyan was the worst enemy to the Prophet ﷺ. He had plotted many, on many occasions to kill Prophet Muhammad ﷺ. Prophet Muhammad ﷺ never attacked him or plotted to revenge against him. In fact, he forgave him and declared him as an amnesty. The conquest of Mecca. After different battles fought and many hardship faced, Prophet Muhammad ﷺ conquered Mecca. And this was by the grace of Allah the Most Gracious. During different battles such as Badr and Uhud, Prophet Muhammad ﷺ and his armies never moved forward to fight. In fact, they had always came forward in terms of or in exploring a peace agreement. When Mecca was conquered by Prophet Muhammad ﷺ, when his army entered the state, he announced that those who are in their houses were safe. For example, women, children, and the elders were safe. He also said that those who took took refuge in Abu Sufyan's residence was safe. Now look at that situation. Whoever was in Sufyan's house was safe from his, you know, fighting. So Abu Sufyan, as I've said before, he was a great enemy of the Prophet ﷺ. And look what Prophet Muhammad ﷺ did when he got the chance of conquering Mecca. He said that anyone that was in Abu Sufyan's house is safe. Isn't this a situation of great patience? Prophet Muhammad is the best of us. And we should try to study his life in depth. And implement what we have studied in our daily lifespan. Again, he's the best of all. And he was sent by Allah to propagate the truth and the importance of being patient for Allah, the most gracious. He also, with very little bloodshed, Mecca was conquered. During his last address, Prophet Muhammad wasalam, declared war and bloodshed to be made forbidden until unless they were attacked from the outside. He addressed to he addressed to preach Islam with patience to people around and didn't force them or attack them. Let's move on to another situation of the Prophet Sallallahu patience. The lady who threw rubbish on Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There was a lady who used to throw garbage plants with thorns and stones on Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This led to Prophet Muhammad وسلم, going back to his residence to change and to clean himself and move from his house again. The, the lady would do this every day. And even once the Prophet وسلم, did not get angry and abuse this lady for her actions. One day, the woman did not throw garbage on the Prophet وسلم. 
So she was missing. Now to show you the peace and the great example that Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is for us is that having seen or absent, he went and he inquired about this lady. When he went, he found out that the lady was sick. The lady was surprised that Prophet Muhammad وسلم, came to see what her situation was like. This is an extreme and important situation of patience of Prophet Muhammad وسلم. After other occasions, this woman accepted Islam. Isn't this an important event? Isn't the life of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, enough for us to show that he is really a prophet, that we should follow him in everything that he has said and encouraged us to do? Prophet Muhammad وسلم, life is full of patient situations. Situations that we should try to learn from. Situation that we should try to preach about to our loved ones. Don't forget, patience is an important characteristic and value, virtue of the mu'min, the real believers. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Mm -hmm.